हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज बैकमैन फ्रेगमेंटेशन इन दिस वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन मैकेनिज्म एंड डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन बैकमैन फ्रेगमेंटेशन we have learned in the previous lecture that an enzyme is converted to amide or lactam when treated with protic acid lewis acid or the reagent that can convert hydroxyl group into a better leaving group this transformation is called beckman rearrangement certain enzymes that are capable of generating very stable carbocation by the cleavage of this cc bond trans to the hydroxyl group produce nitrile and carbocation this transformation is called beckman fragmentation beckman fission abnormal or secondary beckman reaction the carbocation can eliminate proton to produce alkene or it can combine with the nucleophile if available to produce substituted product in general beckman fragmentation is favorable when r1 in oxime is attached through the quaternary carbon alpha carbon of r1 has two diaryl groups or there is hetero atom at alpha carbon sulfur can promote fragmentation even at longer range you can draw the beckman fragmentation product without going into detailed mechanism for this break this cc bond trans to the hydroxyl group to get this structure put positive charge on r1 and replace this part with nitrile to get this structure now depending upon the reaction condition eliminate proton to get r1 converted to alkene or add nucleophile to get this product mechanism of beckman fragmentation just like beckman rearrangement hydroxyl group of oxime reacts with electrophile to produce oxime derivative with better leaving group leaving group departs at the same time the trans group r1 migrates to nitrogen and lone pair of nitrogen delocalizes to furnish nitrilium ion now this cn bond breaks to generate nitrile and carbocation the carbocation can eliminate proton to produce alkene or it can combine with nucleophile if available to produce this product now we will discuss some problems based on beckman fragmentation question number 1 write down the structure of products formed when 11 diphenyl propane 2 on oxime reacts with pcl5 since the group trans to hydroxyl group is diphenyl methyl capable of stabilizing cation so it will undergo beckman fragmentation we can use sort method to find the structure of products or we can go through the full mechanism let's first use the short method break the cc bond trans to hydroxyl group to generate these two fragments put the positive charge here and convert this part into nitrile to get these diphenyl methyl cation and acetonitrile since this cation cannot undergo elimination so it will react 
with in situ generated chloride ion to produce chlorodiphenyl methane full mechanism involves attack of hydroxyl group to pcl5 that eliminates hcl and leads to the formation of oxime derivative having better living group living group departs in the form of pocl3 and chloride ion diphenyl methyl group migrates to nitrogen and thus leading to the formation of this nitrilium ion this cn bond in nitrilium ion breaks to generate diphenyl methyl cation and acetonitrile now the chloride ion attacks the carbocation to produce chlorodiphenyl methane question number 2 write down the structure of product when camphor oxime is treated with acetyl chloride in camphor oxime this group has quaternary carbon attached to the oxime so it will form beckman fragmentation product because of the stability of tertiary carbocation formed after cc bond cleavage for making product without going through the mechanism break this cc bond to get this species put positive charge here and replace this part with nitrile to get this cationic nitrile now beta proton elimination will give beckman fragmentation product we can simply draw this structure like this you can also find the product by going through the mechanism camphor oxime reacts with acetyl chloride to produce o acetyl oxime elimination of acetate ion and breaking up this cc bond will give this cationic nitrile now beta proton elimination will give beckman fragmentation product which can simply be drawn like this question number 3 predict the product of this reaction hydroxyl group of oxime reacts with 4 nitrobenzoyl chloride to produce 4 nitrobenzoyl derivative elimination of 4 nitro benzoate and breaking up this cc bond leads to the formation of this cationic nitrile elimination of beta proton gives product we can draw this product like this or like this question number 4 predict the product when oxime of hydroxydecalone is treated with thionyl chloride in this example alpha carbon is attached to oxygen so it will promote fragmentation reaction of hydroxyl group of oxime with thionyl chloride liberates hcl and gives rise to sulfenyl chloride derivative leaving group departs in the form of sulfur dioxide and chloride ion and cc bond breaks to produce the cation with nitrile group this is resonance is stabilized removal of proton gives product question number 5 predict the product of this reaction in this substrate there is sulfur at the beta carbon sulfur can promote fragmentation even if it is present at beta carbon reaction of hydroxyl group 
of oxime with thionyl chloride liberates HCl and gives rise to the sulfenyl chloride derivative. Leaving group departs in the form of sulfur dioxide and chloride ion and CC bond breaks which is supported by sulfur to produce this bicyclic cationic species. Intramolecular nucleophilic attack by the nitrogen leads to the formation of this bicyclic product. Question number 6. Predict the product when 1,1-dimethyl-2-tetralone is treated with dust. In this substrate, group trans to hydroxyl is attached to oxime through quaternary carbon and also the formed carbocation will be dimethyl benzyl cation so fragmentation will be favored hydroxyl group reacts with dust eliminates hf and leads to the formation of this species a The leaving group in species A departs and CC bond breaks to generate species B. Now the fluoride ion attacks the cation to produce product.